Hey guys, Urban Combat Survivor here. Um, this is going to kind of be a video response to Johnny Boy McCracken's video called uh, Moving Covered Positions for WROL Conditions. Uh, it's also going to kind of be a video response or an augmentation or, or my two pennies added on to what Hibernia Sun's videos say. Um, they have a similar message to the uh, video I did in response to Mr. Lock and Load's video last week that he actually wound up yanking down because there was so much fuss over it. And uh, that is this. So first, let me talk directly to Johnny Boy McCracken. Um, <clears throat> one, uh, like others have said, I think it's a good idea and I think it's a positive thing that you're thinking. Two, I think that um, in very controlled circumstances, uh, I think you have a specific thing in mind for that cart. Um, the specific thing you have in mind might actually be a joke and making fun of people like me, but that's beside the point. Um, I think it might actually have uses for very specific, narrow focus applications, if that's what you're thinking. And if it is, I'd love you to put up another video um, explaining what you were thinking about that. But um, <clears throat> I think that the amount of effort that you're putting into that cart probably is... Uh, the squeeze isn't really worth the juice on that, you know? Uh, pushing around that much weight with that much uh, restriction on your movement and on the terrain that that's going to be usable on, I think is uh, probably wasting your time on it a bit. However, I could see, like I think someone said in one of your comments, I could really see if you really loaded that thing up with sandbags, pushing that thing, if you have like a ground level door, pushing that thing into a doorway so that you can stand behind it and use it as actual cover while, uh, you know, moving around and maneuvering. Uh, I think it could have some application there, although uh, any damage it takes is going to probably stop you from being able to close that door after the fact. So that's something to consider. But really what I want to get into here is the pylons that I see happening all over this community. Uh, yeah, of course, there are certain trolls that target um, preppers. There, there, there are going to be trolls that target just about anybody, and that's fine. They're, they're, they get enjoyment out of their little games, and uh, honestly, I just ignore them. I don't, know, I don't know why anybody feeds the trolls. But what I think the trolls do is they effectively whip a frenzy up among people. And, you know, they cause division. And I think the reality is... If this video is serious, then uh, I think you need to be commended for trying to think outside the box, and particularly for trying to use the things that you have available to you in a way that you, you think they'll be advantageous to you in a, a bad and a breakdown situation. What I think would be a better use of those sandbags, though, honestly, would be... Um, determining the quality of the walls that you're building your structure is built out of and if they're decent quality use those that pile those sandbags on windowsills because if it's a quality construction you're going to have at least a double face of uh, stone and brick or concrete and brick and uh, your windowsills are going to be your your biggest threat area so I would kind of pile those to where they're at the proper height for you to rest your rifle um, rather than using a bipod or a monopod, you know, you could uh, you could use those to rest your rifle on and also use them as minimal cover um, for return fire. I, that's just one suggestion. Um, I think those weights, depending on which ones they are, um, I've seen some decent low-carbon steel weights out there. I don't know if those are the ones you have, but I've also seen some cast iron ones. If those are cast iron, Take one and whack it with a hammer and it will shatter, um, particularly if it's cold out. So, uh, not the best, but probably stop one shot. But after that, you're, uh, you're kind of screwed, so if you've been relying on that thing. Anyway, really what I wanted to talk about is, one, keep thinking outside the box. Keep trying to use the things that are in your environment, because having that skill developed, if there ever is a breakdown, is going to be invaluable, because you you're not going to be able to just go to Home Depot and pick up what you need anymore. So 
keep thinking outside the box. Keep trying to come up with uses for the things that are already in your environment. I think that's great stuff. Ignore the trolls. Ignore the idiots. <clears throat> Don't let them bring you down. Don't let them stop you from doing what you're doing. Um, I, I watched your other video. Um, and uh, the one you put up after that I know was a joke. But I watched your first video. So you obviously have some gear. And you obviously at least see this as a hobby. At, at minimum. So... You, you know, you have some knowledge, you know what you're talking about in, in that area. So, uh, basically, I guess I want to just say welcome to it. Welcome to the trolls, because they're going to come. And keep plugging, man. Don't, don't let the idiots stop you. Don't let the idiots scare you out of the community and scare you out of making videos. Every one of us that makes these videos, at bare minimum, shows how many of us are thinking that something might happen. And that makes it easier for the next person to maybe change their mindset a little bit and say, you know what, yeah, let me put a little bit of food up. What the hell, it doesn't hurt, right? It costs me nothing in the long run. Um, that's one more person that might stand up and add his voice to the conversation. And uh, the more people that are adding their voices to the conversation, the more likely it is that any problem in the future can actually be avoided. Because people that are paying attention stop that kind of crap. So if there's enough of us that are actually talking about it and paying attention and voting as a block, real attention, really addressing the issues, really forcing the issue to where there's actual conversations going on in people's homes about this, you know, can only be a positive thing, right? Socially aware citizens can only be a positive thing. So keep trucking. Don't let the idiots knock you down. And if they do, just stand back up. We're here. You know, we'll help you. We'll help you stand back up if you need to. And, uh, you know, that's that. So, uh, I guess really it's uh, probably a wasted video, but uh, I just wanted to add my, my voice of support in there. So, there it is. Urban Combat Survivor, signing off.